Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone. Happy weekend. Saturday's here. Welcome back. Visibility issues out there kind of persist across the entire state line. We are up to full visibility right now in Rockford, but DeKalb is down to seven. Rochelle's down to five. Freeport at four and Monroe is down to seven. So that's kind of the big story this morning with the rain moving in and the dew points that are rising. So it does feel muggy out there. Temperature is now reaching the 70s all across the map. We're at 72 in Rockford, 71 in Rochelle. Same with Freeport, 73. That's our warm temperature up in Janesville, but notice our dew points are actually in the 70s to 72 in Janesville, 71 in Freeport. We have 70s in both Savannah and Sterling, 68 in Rockford, but that 68 still leading to muggy conditions. That's going to be driven pretty much through our entire weekend. So when dew points do become above 60, that's when it starts to feel muggy, humid levels between about 65 and 70. And I do think that Wednesday they'll probably rise above that 70 degree mark. They are in a few locations, mainly just Janesville right now, but it is going to be very muggy once we get to Wednesday. So the day after really leading up to the 4th of July and then after the holiday, once we get to midweek to late week, so Wednesday night into Thursday, that's when dew points are going to drop. So it'll make it feel much more comfortable out there. Once we head into that time frame, temperatures are also going to drop. So you may have noticed a little bit of better, better conditions with our haze. So we still do have light haze across the state line, but not even close to our air quality index values that we were seeing much earlier in the work week. So we did have and fall to the very unhealthy level, which is between 200 and 300 right now between 50 and 100. That's still moderate, but much better than Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even yesterday. But it's still hazy out there, at least somewhat. But we are seeing an increase in clouds, though, really through the last several hours. Those have thickened up with the showers that are moving in right now. That's kind of sitting around Rockford and south, at least right now. But those are going to continue to track further to our northeast. So I do think we'll hold that isolated to scattered threat of thunderstorms and then showers pretty much through the majority of your Saturday, even into Saturday night and Sunday. Anything that we do see. It's not going to be severe, just a few generalized thunderstorms out there to worry about. Severe weather, though, that's going to be pretty much south of here, central Illinois. So not really worried about any severe weather here. But yes, I do think we'll see some lightning and then hear some thunder out there as we head for the next couple of hours. And then as we head into Sunday, still tracking a few isolated showers. I don't think it'll be as prominent as what we'll see today, but still holding that threat out there. Again, not for severe weather, though, just generalized thunderstorms, a moderate drought. That's what most of us sit in, but this did come out Thursday, so they did update that all rain that got taken into consideration what we saw last weekend up until Tuesday. They did increase a few areas, parts of Joe Davies, at least western Joe Davies County, Green, and then Rock County, southern portions of Whiteside, Lee, DeKalb, also southeastern McHenry County are considered in what's a severe drought. So we do see worsened drought conditions. That's probably going to be the case at least until the next one that comes out in a couple days from now on Thursday. So I don't expect conditions to change that much just because we're not tracking heavy rain and widespread rain. And then by the time we get to the 4th of July holiday, Tom, 90s are at least very close to the 90 degree mark that returns. All right.